Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermit Crowd Season 4 with me, Full Symmetry. And today, today guys, we have a very exciting episode. 1.10, 1.10, yeah, again. I don't know why we, why I say that as if we're going to change back or something. But I've just realised, I don't know if you guys will be able to pick up on this, but there's a new ender chest sound, I believe. It has like a really cool sound and it kind of is terrifying when you first open it. I was like, there's like a really deep voice coming from the ender chest. It was kind of freaky, kind of freaky, but pretty awesome nonetheless. But anyway, today we are going straight ahead, straight ahead right into the episode. I'm pretty sure I've got everything I need on me. I'm going to hope so because that's... That's all I got going. We are heading into the nether to go and fetch the polar bears. Now, we found them last episode. If you missed that, uh, go back watch it maybe. I got probably too excited about a polar bear. I don't know. I just I love them. They're kind of amazing. And uh, whoa, wait, why are there loads of skulls everywhere? <laughs> what happened here? Wait, wait, what? Oh, is this, wait, this is, is this everybody that's in the blue district? That seems like an awful lot. And then there's myself and Cub just here. <laughs> Look at this, this looks hilarious. <laughs> just me and Cub just chilling at the back, kind of just like, just kind of creeping on everybody. We're like, hey, hey guys. Especially Cub's face. Look at that. Hey guys, how, how's it go? Anyway, sorry. Totally distracted. Totally, totally distracted. And then, yeah, the pub district does look a little bit sad looking. A little bit sad looking. Is that Joe's skin over there? Yeah, Joe's skin. Got a Jevin all the way over there. Got Doc and Etho. Oh, they look, they're looking lovingly into each other's eyes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But anyway, I'm totally distracted. Totally 110% distracted. Now, this is the way we need to go. Oh, that's my Kali that I think I left behind last night. And uh, I'm going to be heading this way. Oh, I forgot to fix all of this up. Dang it, but that's fine. We still need to use this today. So I'm going to head off to the snow biome where the polar bears are waiting for me. There were even a couple more with cubs that respawned or spawned in uh, whilst I was over there in my live stream. So there are now a whole bunch of them over there. We've got some spares because let's say maybe I may have killed a couple by accident in my live stream. But hey, you it's fine. <laughs> we're going to head over there and uh, we're going to get them back to the pet shop uh, where we haven't quite set up a, um, a pen yet or an environment for them to be in but we're going to work on that once we get a couple polar bears over there so let's get going I've got my rail here already ready to roll and uh, yeah let's just say it's a bit of a roller coaster ride at least for these polar bears and well for me as well I guess but yeah this is going to be Pretty exciting. Let's do this. Okay, straight through the portal. That's the nerd pool we made last episode. And we have found one with a cub. Interesting. It's the salmon spawning season starting today. Uh, <laughs> I asked in chat why there was salmon at that portal. Someone's been here looking for polar bears. They've stolen my portal. And I'm very sad about that. No, it's fine. They can, they can, they can use it uh, all they wish. Because apparently... Since that guy spawned over there, that, may, that must mean that there are a whole bunch more of them. So I'm hoping they're probably still over here by, I think, where I put my other portal. <gasps> I have my flint and steel, but I don't have actual obsidian. But there are some portals left over here, I think, that I left. Fingers crossed, but uh, at least uh, it should still connect. So let's go grab some polar bears and uh, let's hope this works. I'm a little bit worried, but hey, it should be fun. <laughs> let's just try not to kill another one. That, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, here are our team messy portals. Here's one of the polar bears that got himself stuck. <laughs> well, and truly, how you doing, fella? Are you good? Would you like to get out of here? That'd be quite nice. What was that? Was that you? What noise was that? That was terrifying. Hello? What's that? Oh, a lead. Oh, I need the leads. Oh, well, I don't really need leads. Oh, there are, there were some wolves over here. They've been killing every single animal there is. Oh, there you are, fella. Okay, we need you to get in the portal ASAP because it is getting dark. Let's just say it's getting very, very dark right now. And that's not so much fun. So I'm going to get some rails going. Try and get you in a minecart. That would be kind of amazing if we can. Especially at record speed. Let's just do it. Let's do it right now. Boom. Get it. Oh, no, you're not going to get in, are you? You absolute butt. He's probably going to be better off. Uh, oh, dynamic lighting as well, by the way, guys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You gonna? You're not going to get in there, are you? Oh, there you are. You're in. You're in. Go. <laughs> yes, F3B. Let's see where the. Uh, so we don't hit the bear. 
Ooh, I'm hoping he wasn't angry with me. If he's angry with me, I need my sword out. I'm scared. He didn't die, did he? You good? You're running around a little bit. Okay, I think he's good. Yeah, sweet. Okay. Let's block this guy off and then uh, <laughs> let's get him on the roller coaster ride. You're going to love it, man. You're going to absolutely love it. Don't you worry about it. It's completely safe. Well, this guy's looking forward to it. Look at him go. He's like, yeah, I'm ready to roll. Where are you? You ready? You're lining up. You're lining up. You're ready to go. Go on then. Shall I let you walk on your go on your own? Let's get rid of that for now. Uh, let's give you a little bit of a shove. If he looks the right way, he he can usually get himself going. I'm gonna look at you in F1 mode, by the way, man. Just 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 go go. You nearly at the end. Come on, keep just keep going that way. As long as he doesn't. Cause it, the problem is, is sometimes they look this way and then they start going this way. As long as I keep him moving. No, he's gonna come back this way. No. 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 No, he's gone back. Rip. Dang it. I knew that was gonna happen. I need to block it off. He's coming back. He's giving another go. Come on then, you can do this. You got this, bro. You got this, bro. Catch you later. He's ready to go down. Go on then. Catch you later. See ya. Bye. Woo! Hope there's no ghosts. Yeah, you got this, dude. I'm right behind you. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> He's getting going down the next one. Bye. <laughs> this never gets old, dudes. This never gets old. That is the best thing ever. If I add some powered rails to that, we have got it sorted. We've got a complete polar bear transport right to this little area, and that is awesome. <laughs> I'm so so happy. Right. Okay. Now I break the cart, get him in a boat, and we take him through the portal. So, yeah, that's the thing that's going to happen now. So, yeah. Saying that. I'll have to leave him in a boat over there because uh, the nether side, oh no, the, the other world side of the nether portal we need to get him through isn't isn't quite right. I need to break some portals, I think, to make sure he goes through the correct one. But anyway, you look pretty happy there, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll get you out of that cart in just a second, don't worry. Bri and B are going to help me do this. There we go, get in the boat then. No, you didn't get in the boat. Shall I break the boat and get make a new boat? Okay. There we go. That's how we do it. Boom. He's in the boat. Let's get in the boat. Let's turn off F3 and B. Spin. Let's do a little bit of a spin. <laughs> Let me look in this mode. That's a lot easier to line up. We want to go right. Hold on, fella. And you guys, are you ready? I can try and line up so I can just go straight like this. I don't think it's going to work. Whoa! Yeah! Hey, friend! <laughs> This is the best thing ever, man. Minecraft 1.10, dudes. Everybody, Minecraft 1.10. Let's get you through this gap. And uh, we just need to get rid of those carpets, and then we're good. Hopefully there's no ghast here. If there's a ghast here, I'm going to scream. Guaranteed. So you need to look out for him, okay, polar bear? You can't get over these carpets. But you're looking pretty fabulous. Okay, we're going to go through the pool, make sure it's safe for you, and then we'll bring you through... And uh, doing, doing this in record timing as well. And he has taken a little bit of damage back there, but it's fine. We'll uh, give him a healing potion. Okay, you're ready to roll, dude. Let's record this and hope that he doesn't die. If he dies, I'm going to be very sad. Problem is you're in that thing again. I now need to... <laughs> I need to get you out of the boat again, dude. You're a nightmare. And also, what on earth is up with this? This is so dangerous, man. Tango, why? Okay, let's get you out of this boat. We're hopefully not hitting you. Is that the boat? There we go. Is he through? Oh, he was through flying, though. That's a bit worrying. Let's let's repair that real quick. Just temporary, because I will probably get another polar bear through as well. If this guy's still alive, fingers crossed, he is. Hallelujah. Do you want to get in another boat? Yes, please. Thank you. Goodbye. And then, if we spin around... No, don't take more damage. How did you even do that? Like, I can't push you into a block, surely. Like, come on, bro. Please. <laughs> Please don't do this to me, okay? That's it. You look in the wall. It's fine. But I've got you a friend, so don't worry. As soon as we get down this little hole... By the way, this actually leads to the pet shop. I made, like, a tunnel. Specifically for polar bears. Yes, I know. I'm crazy. Ah, uh, and then here we go. Down the waterfall. Whee! Okay, don't die in the wall, please. But look, you got a friend! So you're not going to be alone. 
It's all good. Right, this is the polar bear Q going on. Shall I get one more and we'll have a polar bear Q? That's kind of amazing, actually. As long as they don't get angry like pigmen, we should be good. But anyway, this room back here is actually going to be their pen. I should probably work on this before I bring another one down, but hey. Uh, there isn't a way to breed them yet, so there's just I'm just going to try and get as many as I can while I've still got that track set up. And as long as no one destroys that track, I should technically be okay. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically, I think... Dig out an area in the center, so that's something kind of round. This is going to be the snowy biome area. So this is all going to be snow here, uh, with an ice lake, maybe a tree and stuff. If it's big enough, I don't know. But I'm going to dig it down, like a like an upside down dome. Um, and then have a little pathway around it. So it's more of a zoo kind of feature, more of an enclosure. That's what I'm thinking right now. I'm hoping it's going to be big enough to get quite a few in there. If not, I'll make the room bigger. But I'm going to dig this out place some snow in there, do all things and stuff, and uh, yeah, should be ready for the polar bears. So I'm going to get on with that, maybe I'll time lapse it, and uh, yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and roll that time lapse. I have obviously been working on this and I thought I would stop doing the time lapse now because uh, I've started to want to change a few things around and, and stuff and I don't know, I feel like the ceiling is too busy. The ceiling's way too busy. Originally I'd planned to not have this cross and I think that actually, you know what, that's probably going to be the better option. So I think if I dig along I can hear spiders and stuff. I'm guessing it's night time. I don't know, actually. I think we've got some caves nearby. So perhaps that is the issue. So I think if I do, like, if I get rid of all these bits, we should have a lot of a, a much, much cleaner look, which is originally what I wanted. I don't know why I decided to put crosses on the ceiling. I don't know. I don't know. I've got clouds on here because it goes with the other room. Um, I quite like I quite like how the clouds look. They're they're just symbolic of clouds. They're not meant to look like real clouds or anything, you know, or Minecraft clouds or whatever. They're just meant to look somewhat cloud-like. Yeah, that looks way better having nothing. Looks a bit like a clock now though, because it's got like it's telling the time. It's twelve o'clock, guys. It's twelve o'clock, guys. Right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, also I quite like these stairs. I don't know actually. You know what? I think I might get rid of these stairs as well. You know what? Let's go. Let's go super, super simple. This, is, this would have saved me a lot of time if I'd have just been like, you know what? I'll go with my original plan. That would have been a lot more productive, I think. But at least the clouds are not having to be moved. They should be okay where they are. I think it's going to look a lot cleaner and nicer. So obviously, I've done one side over here. This water side here. There's a weird glitch, and I don't know why or how this happened. It just happened, but I quite like it. I'm hoping that's not just up to fine and that everyone can see that because it's quite fancy. Could be a bug in 1.10, who knows, but I think this room is definitely starting to look quite cool. I'm hoping that that blue and that blue aren't going to clash too much. They're not too bad. I'm always worried about that because blues in Minecraft, there aren't very many blues that match. Like that blue over there is super vibrant and bright and this was kind of a lilac. And then, it's not even blue really, I guess. It's a lilac. And then you've got like lapis blue, which is just like 
just electric, uh, basically. So, I don't know. A lot of the blues don't really match. So, I wanted to keep this room very, very cool in colours. And obviously, blue is a cool colour. That is the colour you use if you want things to look quite cold, quite chilly, and things. So, yeah, I'm trying to keep it looking like that. That and obviously white. And obviously, I want it to look like quite a clean clean area anyway because that's what the rest of the uh, the pet shop looks like it looks quite it's got clean lines it's all using quite gray and diluted colors but yeah I think this is looking cool we'll uh, get to this stage in a little bit I want to add some color in here in a moment and obviously get the polar bears in there so that should be fun that should be fun but anyway I'm gonna get on with the rest off camera and uh, I'm very very excited to see how this looks still not quite done with this it's taking a long while but I have figured well it just looks too busy right and I don't think that those those glitches are actually helping that because there isn't any just ice or like uh, what is it called packed ice in the design yet you can see it on the sides which kind of is a bit freaky. I'm not sure what I think think about it. Let's see if we do that if that fixes it. No, it just makes it darker, which is weird, uh, strange. I'm not quite sure what that is, is then. Um, let's get that out of my hand because that changes the dynamic lighting a little bit too much. Um, and I'm not sure how to how to tweak it. Do I? Do, I don't really want to put glass on those. I kind of want the water to just be there. I love that every time I stand here, I just see the polar bears chilling, waiting for their pen to be ready. I think these are putting me off because everything else kind of works on a on a horizontal or vert well, mostly a horizontal line. Everything works horizontally, right? Those have got horizontal lines. Those have obviously got horizontal lines. The, the ceiling and the floor both have lines, and I think that these being squares kind of set it off too much. These work okay, I think, I, but I think it's these that are the problem. So, I might change them out for possibly some more of this. Now, I didn't want to use too much uh, polished dye, alright, because I know, I'm not, I, know, I know that I'm not a big fan of it. Also, a, lo a load of hermits aren't a big fan of it either. So I want it to kind of work for most people, <laughs> but that's going to look way cleaner. Let's do it. Whilst I'm cleaning this area up and making it look better, hopefully at least, uh, I'm getting rid of the clouds by the way. Uh, they weren't really working either, I'm hoping. I'm going to have a look step back now, but I was just thinking about what I've just done now. Look how much better that looks. It looks so much better. Honestly, go back to that last bit and have a look at it side by side. Like, it just... Man, it just looks so much better. Um, and yeah, the, people always ask me tips and stuff for building and stuff. And I'm really, really bad at giving tips and advice. And I shouldn't really be giving advice either. Because I don't necessarily think I'm quite there yet with design in Minecraft. There are lots and lots of areas in which I think I need work on. Um, but something actually that has just come to mind whilst I was fixing that is something that I do believe makes a good design, and not necessarily me in this scenario, although it does look better, it is an improvement, uh, is actually being able to step back, look at your build, and figure out what isn't working. I think that is quite a strong thing, because basically what you need to do in Minecraft is just go ahead and build something. Whatever it is in your imagination, build it. Try, experiment with different blocks, whatever, use creative, use vanilla, whatever tickles your fancy, but then be able to step back and actually kind of look at your build and be like, okay, that's working, that's not working. I think that that is a really kind of strong thing in building, actually. And I don't know, I've never really thought about it th before. I thought I would bring it up while it was in my mind. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, there are obviously a few brown bits here and there still. So I think I'm going to finish it up completely. We've, fin we've done the stairs here. This is looking okay. You don't quite hit your head, it's okay, it's okay. Um, and what else is there? Oh yeah, we need to figure this out, but that's fine. We'll make that look more natural soon. This is looking sweet. You guys are ready for the big reveal. Here it is, the room is done. Let's look at it from the entrance way. This is the entrance way. That's why I have these things here, if you noticed that in the last clip. I also added this little glass area, which is really nice. And this is the entrance right here. And I think it looks so good. I think it looks so good. I'm tempted around the inside of the circle to put um, some more of these um, stone slabs but I don't know I don't know yet uh, I've added some vines to the tree just to see what they look like uh, the tree's kind of short I might bring it up one 
but that doesn't really matter too much. Uh, what matters is getting these guys in there. Now, I think I might have to move these chests, so that's what I'm going to do anyway. So I'm going to quickly move these back behind them, uh, so we can have like a solid area where we can keep stuff for now. I will design this tunnel at some point, because it is a fairly long tunnel. I think it's probably okay to stay here. I'll check that it's not in the way of anyone else's stuff. But this is going to be the best way of getting polar bears into here constantly, well not constantly, but if, if I do decide to sell them, which I might do since it isn't too bad to get them here, it takes a little while, but I can do it in live stream and stuff, um, we might be able to have a, a pretty good solid business here. I mean, I don't know who's going to want to buy a polar bear from me, especially if it's in here, which is like a ditch. So we'll have to get some, I think maybe we'll put a chest in the design here with uh, some rails and stuff so people can actually just get a rail line going or maybe we'll have a solid rail line behind like a door here or even just open and we'll have that just cornered off and say no entry kind of thing but yeah i think this looks pretty cool i'm probably going to change the tree a little bit and then we're going to get these guys in here so brb and uh, we are so so nearly there i'm excited you're gonna love your new home as long as they don't escape i've, I've heard that they can't get over these but i have then ruined it by doing this so who knows First polar bear is ready. Come on, fella, we're gonna get you in here. This should work all right. You shouldn't die on the pains because they are in a good place, I think. Now, I need to get F3 and B on again. Uh, make sure I don't hit you, but I hit the boat. There we go, perfect, you're in here. Don't drown, please. I'll get your friend in here in just two seconds. If they drown and stuff, I'm gonna be very, very sad. Well, this, if they escape, it's probably not gonna be too much of an issue, actually. But, um, yeah, I'll probably block off both entrances for, for a while or, or something. Or at least maybe go AFK here and see if they get far enough away. Or they get, I don't know, if they escape, I guess. Uh, maybe they, they might get stuck in the water. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. They're polar bears. Who knows? Who knows? They, they might be able to get over this. Maybe not, though. But look at that. Oh, they're in here. Oh, you got up on that. You're not meant to be able to get up on that. Is there the water that did that? Is that the dang water that did that? Is it really? Get, get, get offed. Get offed. Okay, I could probably cover that over. Or if I have some more snow layers, maybe put some more snow layers up there? I definitely heard or read somewhere that they can't get up a snow block if it's got snow layers on it. So I was like, that's that's genius. Like, that's a brilliant way of being able to actually block them in without it looking ugly. Like, it looks very, very natural indeed. So, I don't know. I thought that that was a fix. Maybe the water brings them up even higher than that. I don't know. I can always make this nice and high here. That's not really a problem. Um, we'll see. We'll see, though. Why do you look pink? Is that because you're in a block, you weirdo? The, the puzzle bears, for some reason, absolutely love blocks. They love looking at inside blocks. They love it. They they love it so much. But yeah, this is, this is it. Look how beautiful it is. I think it looks really cute. I think it looks really cute. So uh, we'll probably work on this tunnel, as I said, in another episode. Dude, look how, look how full everything is. I just brought those with me just in case. I have splashed them with them, although I couldn't see that they had particle effects. So I'm pretty sure it splashed them with healing, too. But, you know, I could be wrong, I guess. So I'm probably going to keep an eye on these guys for a little bit, but it looks like we are done for the day, guys. Oh, he's escaping, isn't he? Look at him. Massive troll. Massive troll. But that is sadly it, guys, for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to leave a like if you did enjoy it. Let me know any ideas you have down below. And I've had such a fun episode getting these guys in here. Let's just hope that they won't get out. But if you guys have any ideas of how to stop them getting out, which will be very handy. Uh, that on the bunny rabbits upstairs, they're escaping as well. Uh, then that'll be great. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.